guys how are you guys doing on this wonderful tuesday morning hopefully everyone has thanked god for allowing them to see another beautiful day hopefully you are not allowing the devil to use you because as you know he's always busy he always trying to find something to get into and to stare up so hopefully you are not allowing him to use you this brings us to our throwback tuesday yes throwback tuesday we have judge hatchet i know everybody has watched her before i know everybody has enjoyed all of her episodes because i know i have but if you have never watched judge hatchet then you can get a chance to see an episode of her and maybe go and look at some old episodes i don't think she's on tv anymore but hopefully you guys enjoy let's get into the video association meeting uh myself uh miss town part of the board as well as well as other parents um we all decided well i didn't necessarily agree with it but i was an overwhelmingly minority but uh, the rest of the parents decided that they wanted to throw uh at the end of the, the school term a uh, kindergarten prom <laughs> that's the first for me I'm not yeah sure. i didn't agree with that myself i'm like she's five years old but i have a daughter and uh i didn't want her to be left out when she sees the rest of her classmates are dressing up and having fun so i want her to be part of it and, and that's Mr. great her, his daughter did have fun she had a great time all the kids did uh, so there was a prom a kindergarten yes. prom yes but clearly from your perspective something went terribly wrong because you're in here suing so correct Walk me through it, and then I'm going to give you, of course, opportunity to respond. Thank okay. You. So, uh, what happened? Uh, she was, uh, Miss Towns was in the meeting as well. We all figured out uh, what would need to be done uh, to raise, allocate certain, allocate certain money to raise certain money to get this accomplished. We figured initially that it would take about fourteen hundred and seventy-five dollars. Uh, we had two fundraisers, and uh, I have some proof here. Uh, we raised sixteen hundred and thirty-five dollars. There was uh, a bake sale that uh, raised about $635, and myself, I mandated, and I had a car wash, and I raised $1,000. Yes, and uh, we had a budget, and we emailed the budget. Uh, I did that so myself, with the, at the discretion of everyone else. Emailed that to Mrs. Towns, because Mrs. Towns was so adamant about being the point on this, because she has done this previously. Uh, whether we had, like, parties at the skating rink, movie parties, or, or what So she's been kind of the event coordinator. Correct. That's in the correct. group. Correct. In the past. Yes. Is that correct? correct? Yes, I was previously the president of the PTA for the kindergarten class. I see. Yes. Now we've got uh, $1,635, and you have the information about yes. that. Is that correct? May yes, I see that? Yes. And what happens? Well, uh, I asked for her to send over, you know, receipts of you. about, you know, where the money is going to be allocated for. Uh, she can never do so. Uh, and I, kept... I did provide receipts just to clarify. Okay, I'm going to get to you. Yeah. So, so she can never provide. So you turned over the complete $1,635. Correct. Uh, two checks. We gave them to her. Okay. Uh, she deposited them in her account. One was for $635. The other was for $1,000. All right. Is that true, Ms. Towns? That is true. Uh, there are also uh, separate billings and charges that I did not provide to him, but I can in the future, and I can give you a verbal break down of those oh no, no 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 that's not how court works you can't provide it to him in the future i've never had an issue in the past with any event planning where people distrusted me and needed receipts from me how long ago did this happen this happened about a month ago yes. okay yes. so plenty of time to have gotten him what he needs i'm going to give you an opportunity so okay. now we have raised the money, yes. two checks, the defendant acknowledges that she got both checks. Correct. They were deposited in your personal account, personal is that correct? Account, yes. And then what happened, Mr. Jackson? Okay, so uh, she finally sends me over an email, like a Word document, showing me that she spent $400 on like refreshments, uh, baking uh, goods, and $600 for a consulting fee. $600 for a consulting fee for who? Uh, for her. And this for was you? never discussed. Yes. Did the board approve a $600 expenditure for you to be a consultant? Unfortunately, since nobody helped me, I was the board. No, 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 no. you were not the board. No, 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 no. As I understand it, there was a committee that met to decide whether they wanted to have this kindergarten prom. Mr. Jackson said that he was in the minority. He was not in favor of it. But he 
even after they voted, he decided that he should support it because it was a committee. Yes. You are not a committee of one. Okay. And I'm asking very simply, who approved the $600 consultant fee to you? I approved it for myself. I saw that they had sent me a budget. Um, it's in the evidence that he handed you. They sent a budget, an outline, along with what they'd like to see happen at the kindergarten prom, which, of course, I took to heart. I took into consideration, but those checks were very clearly made out to me, and I was left alone to do this by myself. Mr. Jackson didn't help me. I did the entire thing on my own. Coming up on The Verdict with Judge Hatchett. The Verdict with Judge Hatchett is back with the case of Terry Jackson, who is suing Sherry Towns for theft. The event goes on, and what happens? Uh, it was horrible. Uh, she told us there was going to be uh, a large space that's going to accompany maybe about 90 people because she had 30 students, parents. Right. So that's about 90 people. We show there the space is very small, to say the least, to be kind. Very cramped. There wasn't enough refreshments for the children and the parents alike. Uh, we wanted a, uh, a face painter. She had a face painter, but the face painter was, I don't know, maybe like 10 years old, 11 years old. Yes. Uh, but that was all in the budget, right? Correct, yes. Yeah, you right. had the party venue. Right. You had a budget of up to $500 for the party venue. Why correct. didn't the party venue accommodate 90 people, Miss Towns? The party venue accommodated all 30 of the kindergarten children, which was what the event was for. I didn't plan on people bringing uninvited, unannounced guests. What about parents? Parents aren't unannounced guests. I understand that, but if your child goes to their high school prom, you're not going to be dancing and eating with them. <laughs> well, these are children. I have photos of all the great snacks that we had. We had gummy bears. We had strawberries. We had grapes. If the kids didn't like it, it's because it was healthy, and that's what we what had a budget of three hundred dollars, and you're telling me that it costs three hundred dollars to give thirty children gummy bears and grapes. I also had to purchase tables. I had to purchase signage, film. I did social media marketing and social inviting. media marketing doesn't yes. cost anything. Why are you doing social media marketing if it's just thirty children in the kindergarten? I think my we don't time need is, to do social media marketing to the world. I think my time is valuable. Ooh, you're in trouble in here. Let me tell you. All right, so let's go through this. Where are your receipts of what you spent? I have them right here. Um, Let me save them. I have an invoice outlining my expenses and a target receipt. Your what? An outline of my invoice that I sent to Mr. Jackson with my consulting fee and a target receipt. Well, first of all, you're not going to get a consultant fee. Let's just start there. All right. I see a receipt from a department store yes. for $29.93. Yes. I see a consulting fee for $600 to you, yes. which is outrageous, and materials of $400. Where are the receipts for the $400? I don't have those, but I do have the charges because it came out of my personal checking account so i can bring those in or i can verbally you should have brought them in them. today i think okay. you're making this up on the fly the party kids. venue how much did you pay for the venue I did was it not, free in a way in a way it was free next you had to rent tables and chairs you had a budget of 250 dollars. did you pay 250 dollars for rental of tables and chairs no but it was very close to that how close? I'd say about $75. $75 is not $250. Mr. Jackson, yes, I'm through with this. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,000. And if you would communicate to the parents, and I am so sorry this has happened, but do not. Do you hear me? Do not give Ms. Towns any more checks from any committees because she has shown us what she's going to do. Yes. So order the $1,000 judgment for the plaintiff. Judge Hatchett has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $1,000. I empathize with your situation. 
but you had no right pocketing the money that was intended for the kindergarten prom. Like I told you and the judge, my time is valuable. I deserve to be compensated for my services. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good day, guys. Bye.